hear a show too from the great white way does a shiver run through ya well we're giving them to ya sing hallelujah and shout hooray come on along and listen to Broadway to Main Street you It's all free. It's all free. It's all free. I'm eager to share my love and devotion. It's deep as the ocean. I've plenty to spare. And since it's so ample, I'll throw you a sample. I will cheer you up on the spot. So forget the things you have not. Can't you see, kid, what a very rare treasure you've got? You got me, my baby, you got me. You've got my good wishes, baby, and my loyalty. You've got a love that will last till sailors don't sail the sea, and it's free. It's all free. It's all free. It's all free. It's all free. Those rollicking melodies of Leonard Bernstein, lyrics by Comden and Green from On the Town, proves that Leonard Bernstein, when it comes to music, you got us. Hello, this is Larry Maslon, your host for Broadway to Main Street here on 88.3 FM, Peconic Public Broadcasting emanating out of the new year of uh, 2018. We are in our seventh year, listeners. Um, Who thought it would be possible? Well, I did, and here we are. Looking forward uh, to continuing our exploration into the great world of music and talent that emanated on Broadway and resonated to every main street in America. Well, there are few people as interesting, compelling, uh, captivating, sometimes frustrating, or, and uh, effective as a contributor to the Broadway scene than Leonard Bernstein. Leonard Bernstein, who is just a, a, a towering figure of the 20th century, was born on August 25th, 1918. And you may know, Tiss, that there are many centennial events as well there should be to celebrate this unique American individual. Now, one that's coming up on the weekend of February 24th through 26th at the estimable 92nd Street Y, it's called Lenny's Lyricists. And if this uh, event is anything like the great Bobby Darren event I saw last week, you will be in for a treat. So we will we will give you some more information about that as we go. But it is certainly time, as any time would be, any Sunday would be, to turn to Leonard Bernstein. And one thing I want to look at today 
is sort of the oddball things that he did that we may not recognize, um, aspects of his unique talent that aren't usually celebrated necessarily. It's not, it's not all trunk songs and stuff, but just a different way of looking at him because we've done shows of Devoted to Candide and West Side Story and On the Town, so, so we've covered his music often as well we should. Anyway, uh, one thing that Leonard Bernstein did beyond... Uh, contradiction is he was someone who gave the American spirit, both in classical music as a writer and as a conductor, and of course on Broadway, its own unique imprimatur as far as the rest of the world is concerned. So as a great shining light of the new world, let us turn to Candide uh, and Jason Danieli singing a beautiful song that celebrates the wonders of this particular part of the globe. On a noble errand across the sea I'm bound, where all things are fair and happiness is found. confusion and all my woe shall seem like a sorrowful illusion like a dark forgotten I go, people dwell in blissful peace, raise their children, stitch and sow, herd their cows and feed their geese, and if by chance they are distressed, they trust that all will come to good, for all things turn out for the best. As my dear master said they should And so to find that true world I've left a world of lies Sure that in that new World, I'll find paradise And praying that out yonder Upon that blessed shore I'll wed my Conaconda And be happy Beautifully elegiac ballad by Bernstein for Candide. Let's look at the slightly more, what would I say, Tin Pan Alley aspect of his career for a bit. Um, And um, we'll hear a song that was written for Wonderful Town. Now, Wonderful Town was a score he wrote with Comden and Green. It was their follow-up almost a decade later to On the Town in 1953. And Rosalind Russell was their leading lady, and she didn't have a lot of musical experience. She was actually one of the first film stars or non-singing stars to headline a Broadway musical. And he, they wrote this wonderful ballad for her, uh, which got cut because she couldn't really hack it, to be frank. But here is Cheetah Rivera, who we all know brought West Side Story to vibrant life in 1957. This is a, a studio recording of a great cut song from Wonderful Town. You wake one day, the sun is bright. 
like strolling through the town. Your dress is new, your hat just right. And then the rain comes pouring down. Well, that's the story of my life. You dream you've heard a lovely song. All night you're haunted by its theme. When you wake up, the notes are gone. The song has vanished with a dream. Well, that's the story of my life. Like any story that is filled with love and joy and hope as it grows. And then the story ends without the love, the joy, the hope at the close. So it goes. You leave the life you always know. You travel long, you travel far to find the star that's all your own. But then you never find the star. Well, that's the story of my life. A funny little thing happened to me the other night on my way down to the lower depths. I was on this blind date. He was awful. And in no time at all, I could see as far as he was concerned, the blind date was me. My press agent says I, I want you to meet this guy named Gable. I said, forget it. I'm off blind dates for Keith. No more of those dismal creeps. Well, I missed quite a lark. You see, that Gable was Clark. <laughs> I went to my office the other day. I, I have this crush on my big, handsome boss. A curly-headed dream. To get him was my scheme. For five years, nothing happened. Then one day, I just happened to take off my glasses, and he said, ah! Now here's some advice for you younger girls. Stay younger. So it goes. You leave the life you've always known. You travel long, you travel far. To find the star that's all your own. But it is never where you are. Well, that's the story of my life. The classic story of my life. I think that's as good a torch song as anything ever written for Broadway. And it has a very sort of deep yearning melody, and courtesy of Leonard Bernstein. Today is Bernstein on Broadway. Um, he basically did six major things for Broadway, uh, including, I guess, his second thing in 1950, were some incidental songs written for Peter Pan with Comden and Green. But again, the follow-up to On the Town was a Wonderful Town, 1953. And here is another kind of stealth song. This is as good a ballad as I think has ever been written for a Broadway show. It's taken from a wonderful out-of-print CD called uh, Leonard Bernstein's New York. Here is Richard Muins to sing A Quiet Girl. All right, goodbye. You've taught me my lesson. Get mixed up with a genius from Ohio It happens over and over I pick the sharp intellectual kind Why couldn't this time be different? Why couldn't she only be Another kind A different kind of I love a quiet girl I love a gentle girl Warm as sunlight Soft, soft as snow Her smile, a tender smile her voice 
voice of velvet voice sweet as music soft soft as snow when she is near me the world's in repose we need no words she sees Gentle girl, where is the special girl who is soft, soft as snow? Somewhere, somewhere, my quiet Gentle girl, where is the special girl who is soft, soft as snow? Somewhere, somewhere, my quiet girl. Goodness, what a song. That sort of aching, Copeland-esque, yearning sound, courtesy of Leonard Bernstein. Well, let's go to two girls who are quiet or not, as the case may be. One from West Side Story, lyrics courtesy of Stephen Sondheim, and one from a show called 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, lyrics courtesy of Alan J. Lerner. And to uh, tee up these lovely ladies. Let us go to Johnny Mathis, who sings one of the most exquisite versions of this particular ballad from West Side Story. Maria. The most beautiful sound I ever heard Maria, 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 Maria All the beautiful sounds of the world in a single A girl named Maria And suddenly that name Will never be the same to me Maria I've just kissed a girl named Maria And suddenly I found How wonderful a song can be Say it soft And it's almost like praying Maria I'll never stop saying Maria 
Stop saying Maria. The most beautiful sound I have heard. to know where her thoughts would lie, but I don't know more. All I do is die of love and mourn her soul, and that's all I know, Sina, that's all.
That was Bruce Hubbard singing about Cena from 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, a theatrical disaster of 1976. But you know, is my philosophy, great people can never write bad stuff, even if the shows are bad. That was Bernstein and Alan J. Lerner. Hello, this is Larry Maslon, your host for Broadway to Main Street, and we are finally getting around to celebrating Leonard Bernstein's centennial with Bernstein on Broadway. And I want to remind listeners that the estimable 92nd Street Y is doing a program called Lenny's Lyricists, which will be hosted by Amanda Green, the very talented daughter of Adolf Green, who knew Lenny extremely well, the weekend of February 24th through 26th. So you can go to 92y.org and grab your tickets. Let us look at duets. Uh, He certainly had a lot of artistic duets, as it were, in his career, certainly with his lyricists and also with directors like uh, Jerry Robbins. He was a fantastic, if often frustrating, collaborator. Maybe some of that comes out in the work. But let us go to On the Town, the 1944 premiere Broadway musical he wrote. Here is a concert performance by two of my favorites, Federica von Stade and the always amusing David Garrison from On the Town. Modern man, what is it? Just a collection of complexes and neurotic impulses that occasionally break through. You mean sometimes you blow your top, like me? I do. I try hard to stay controlled, but I get carried away. Try to act aloof and cold, but I get carried away. Carried away, carried away, I get carried away. When I sit and listen to a symphony, why can't I just say the music's good? Why must I leap upon the stage hysterically? The plain pizzicato and everything goes blotto. I grab the maestro stick and start in the middle. Get it away, get it away. Get it away. And when I go to see a moving picture show, and I'm watching actors in a scene, I start to think what's happening is really so. The girl, I must protect her. The villain, don't respect her. I leap to her defense and knock a hole right through the screen. I try hard to keep detached, but I get carried away. Try to act less cool. Hatched, but I get carried away. 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 When shopping, I'm a sucker for a bargain sale. If something is marked down upon a shelf, my sense of what is practical begins to fail. I buy one, then another, another, then another. I buy the whole store out and I'm in business for myself. Carried away. And when I go to see my friends all on a train, golly, how I hate to see them go. Oh, then my love of traveling I can't restrain. The time has come for parting, the train's already starting. I have a bridge, and in a flash, I'm off to Buffalo. Oh, 
How's about them apples? Those last two notes also repeated as the somewhere theme from West Side Story. That was, God, what a stunning rendition. Audra McDonald and Manny Patinkin for a great, sadly out-of-print album called Leonard Bernstein's New York. Well, one of the things we tend to forget a little bit is that Lenny, for all his classical training and all the time he spent at that podium batoning away, conducting away, was a product of the 30s and 40s. I mean, he understood... New York jazz and swing as well as anybody. We heard a, a song from uh, from On the Town that opened the show, You Got Me, which was recorded by Nancy Walker. It was kind of a pop single in 1944, the year the show opened. Never really had a cast album uh, until 1960. There was a studio album. Anyway, I stray. Uh, here is, from Wonderful Town, the revival with Donna Murphy, a sense of how Leonard Bernstein understood jazz and swing as well as anybody on Broadway ever. Come on, sister, get a mob around you. Make with the pitch. Get hip. Yes, sir. Hip. Step up, step up. Get hip. Get hip. Come on down to the village vortex, home of the new jazz rage. Swing, rock, and roll to the beat, beat, beat of Speedy Valenti and his crazy cats. Hey, cats. Get a load of that square. Swing. Dig the rhythm. Swing. Dig the message. The jive is jumping and the music goes round and around. Whoa ho. Get her. Goes around and around. Cats. Make it solid. 
Cats, make it groovy. You gotta get your seafood, mama. Your favorite dish is fish. It's your favorite dish. Don't be square. Rock right out of that rocking chair. Truck on down and let down your hair. Breathe that barrel house air. The village vortex swing. Dig the rhythm. Swing. Dig the message. The jive is jumping and the music goes round and around. Get full of Furiakasaki. Get full of the sound of swing. The sound of groovy jive sound of swing. swing. Dig the rhythm. Swing. Dig the message. The jive is jumping and the music goes round and around. Whoa. Sending it home. Well, Bernstein's career on Broadway uh, is incomplete without discussing his dance music. He was easily the most ambitious and successful, I think, composer of uh, dance music. And in this, he was aided in the best possible way by Jerome Robbins, two titanically driven 
uh, intense Jewish men who had, shall we say, extremely healthy egos, but when they worked together, boy, did they produce Broadway magic for the ages. So we will hear uh, two bits of stunning music, his suite of dances from West Side Story, choreographed by Robbins, of course, and then the imaginary Coney Island Ballet from the second act of On the Town. For me, one of the greatest pieces of music ever written by an American for any venue ever. So here is the wonderful music of Mr. Bernstein.
Chill went down my spine listening to that music. Uh, of course, the music of Leonard Bernstein for the second act of On the Town. Well, this is the maestro's centennial. He was conducting that last piece for the 1960 studio version of On the Town. Uh, some things to remember. The 92nd Street Y, the weekend of February 24th, is doing six performances of a great program called Lenny's Lyricist. You won't want to miss that. And we also have on our very own iTunes and our Libsyn websites for Broadway to Main Street full hours on West Side Story, Candide, and On the Town. If you can't get enough of those scores, and who could? So you got us, Maestro Bernstein. I mean, what a titanic contribution to American culture. And he'll always have great friends and admirers all the way along Broadway to every main street in this country.
Here is, from 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, a song performed by Patricia Rutledge from the original cast that couldn't be more pertinent today if it tried. the time all gone to. This is Larry Maslon here at Broadway to Main Street. Let's catch up next Sunday at 3. There's so much more embracing Still to be done But time is racing Oh, well We'll catch up Some other time